Um, and I want to offer my apology as well. Um, Carolyn and I spoke today, and um, it was it was uh, it, it was good for my soul. Let me put it that way. Um, and um, this has been a, a labor of love for me. Um, Courtney, I, you know, in my opinion, Courtney is possibly the greatest musician to ever come out of this state. Um, I mean, tell me I'm wrong, you know? Um, and as we talked about today, Carolyn, um, his musical genius was equaled by his heart and his soul and his spirit and his kindness. He was one of the kindest people, most loving people I've ever known. Um, and that's including my mother and father sitting right here in the front. Um, and, and so this has been a labor of love. I've, tr I've really tried to include the musicians that I know worked the most with Courtney or the closest with him that made, th that he t touched the most, that, you know, just this circle, but it ended up being like 25 people or however many people it is because there are just so many people that Courtney touched. Um, and so for me to proceed and do all of this stuff without coming to you is just ridiculously stupid, frankly. And, um, and so I'm so glad that, that we spoke today. And, um, and I thank you for, for calling me so that we could meet and converse before this night happens so that we can unite in love here tonight under this beautiful Salt Lake City sky and pay musical tribute to an absolute genius and yeah and one of my dearest friends so um so we're gonna get it started here um uh Courtney one of his forays into professional musical life was through the Joe Muscolino band. And yeah, and Parker Swenson, who, you know, I worked with closely, Parker lent a lot of, um, he just lent a lot of his heart and opinions and everything um, to me for this show. And one of the things that he said when I was, you know, the show was about about done, we had sort of put everything together, and, and I said, hey, is there anything missing? And he said, you know, you gotta do something, Charlie Brown, you know. Cour <laughs> Courtney loved, he loved Vince Guaraldi's music, and, and as you know, of course, you know, Vince wrote all the music for the Charlie Brown movies. So, um, and then I remembered that Joe Muscolino had a, he has Linus and Lucy in his book, and so then I thought, well, we, we, I mean, it only seems appropriate that we would have Joe come and play with us tonight. So um, I want you to help me welcome, and you're going to have to bear with me. There's so many people here tonight, but please help me welcome, and you can hold your applause to the end, Joe Muscolino on the flute, Tyler Webb on the trumpet, Nate Campbell on the trombone, Kenji Ihara on the guitar, Tony Ellison on the keys, Alex Rowe on the bass, and Parker Swenson on the drums.
Joe Muscolino, ladies and gentlemen. And that's Joe Muscolino's arrangement. Tyler Webb on the trumpet. Nate Campbell on the trombone. Kenji Ihara, Parker Swenson, Alex Rowe, Tony Ellison. Thank you. So, um, Courtney was a big fan of John Coltrane's music, uh, particularly probably John's most important record, A Love Supreme. And when I thought about this concert tonight, I thought, you know, I knew, I knew that I had to involve Kenji because Kenji and, and Courtney played together so often. But I wanted to invite Corey Christiansen to join as well because though they didn't play together nearly as often, they did play together. I hired them to play together with me, but I was reminded of, a, of, a, of an album that uh, my dad played for me when I was probably in fifth grade or so. And the album was by Mark Johnson, the bassist. The album is called Bass Desires, and he had John Schofield on the guitar and Bill Frizzell on the guitar, both. And they did a song off of A Love Supreme called Resolution which is the second movement of A Love Supreme. And I thought for this occasion that perhaps I could coax Corey to come all the way down from Smithfield to play with Kenji, the thriving metropolis, the thriving metropolis of Smithfield. Yeah. And um, that I could, I could maybe finally... <laughs> realize a dream of mine, which has been to hear Corey and Kenji play together. I don't think that y'all have ever played together publicly before. Is that right? Or privately. <laughs> so this is really quite an occasion because these two guys are two of the baddest guitar players you, you will find in the entire world. So we're going to, yeah. So we're going to recreate that Mark Johnson bass desires uh, plus one because they've asked that I play too. I was, I was ready to just bow out and let them just destroy the, the stage. But, um, but we're going to have our, our dear friend Denson Angulo on the bass here. And Deshaun Bryant on the drums. And this is John Coltrane's Resolution. We hope you enjoy.
Corey Christiansen, ladies and gentlemen. Kenji Ihara. Denson Angulo. Deshaun Bryant. Thank you, thank you. I would now like to welcome uh, Tony Ellison back on the keys. I would like to welcome Alicia Wrigley on the bass. Yes. I'd like to welcome Parker Swenson back on the drums. I'd like to welcome Carlos Arroyo on the percussion. And finally, the lovely and talented Jazzy Olivo. I'm gonna let Jazzy tell you about this next piece. Honored and blessed enough to share with Courtney not only life and, and dreams, we were able to share different genres of music and, and perform together and play together. And uh, it was a, a long way for me to perform with him just like that. Because although we started working together um, one day, uh, he texts me and he's like, "You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have a um, a jam session at Grazies tonight. Do you wanna come over?" And I said, "Okay." He's like, "Maybe you can just get up and and sing with us." And I was like, "Yeah, of course." Then I showed up and <laughs> I saw these musicians and the, the amazingness that they make, that there was no way I was gonna get on stage. And, and I, I sat down for an entire year. I sat down there for an entire year studying JVQ, getting to know them, getting to know Courtney as a piano player, getting to know David and Danson and, and Steve back then, and, and then later on, Parker. And, and one day, I said to him, I text him, hey, I'm gonna be there tonight, and I'm gonna sing a song. And the song is gonna be Garrota de Ipanema. He's like, wait, is that the girl of Ipanema? I'm like, no, that's Garota de Ipanema. So it's a song that brings so many memories because it was the beginning of, of me collaborating with him and with David and, and doing amazing things. And, and I want to share that with you guys. So Garota de Ipanema with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Candido Abeda on the tenor saxophone. Candido performed very often with The Mix, which was Courtney and Jazzy's group, and this formation played this tune together, so enjoy. Cuxa mais linda, mais cheia de graça Ela menina que vem que passa No doce balanço, o caminho do mar Moça de copo dourado Do sul de Ipanema Eu sou balançado É mais que um poema E o cuxa mais linda Cuxa viva sai Estuita sozinho Que quando ela 
Jazzy Olivo, Candido Abeta, Kenji Ahara, Carlos Arroyo, Alicia Wrigley, Tony Ellison, Parker Swenson. Thank you so much. Back in 2006, when I was working on my master's at the University of Utah, I was in a combo with Courtney 
and Alex Rowe and Bobby James, and we went to Greeley, Colorado, and performed at the Greeley Jazz Festival. And we were awarded the Outstanding Combo Award, and I thought it would be great, since I work with these gentlemen today, I thought it'd be great to recreate that group and play a song that we performed in Greeley. So uh, if you would please welcome and to join to, to make the quartet a quintet, Mr. Tom Young on the trumpet. Yeah. And we're gonna keep Tony up here on the keys. We're gonna have Alex Rowe on the bass once again. And my dear friend Bobby James is gonna join us on the drums and he's waving goodnight, all right. This is a song by the French trumpeter Eric Truffaz. This is called Turidou.
Tom Young on the trumpet. Tony Ellison, Alex Rowe, Bobby James. Thank you. So um, one of the tunes that the JVQ played a lot, um, a lot with Courtney was a song written by Joe Henderson, who was my mentor, one of the greatest tenor saxophone players of all time. He wrote a song called Inner Urge, and we, we played the song so much that um, Denson and Courtney kind of, and Steve really, sort of developed their own ending to the song. And, uh, and so that seemed like uh, an appropriate one to play tonight because of my connection to Joe and also um, and just that, that special ending that, um, that Courtney and Denson and Parker put together. And as Joe was a great tenor player, I thought it would be appropriate to invite two other fabulous tenor players to join us. So uh, joining me on this tune is the new director of jazz studies at the University of Utah. Put your hands together for Mr. John, I should say Dr. John Petroselli on the tenor saxophone. Yes, yes. And before I bring the rest of the band out, um, I, uh, I want to let John speak to you just for a moment about something very special that the University of Utah and Gordon Hanks have put together, along with John's assistants. And I will let John tell you more about it. Thank you so much, David. How's everyone feeling tonight? Awesome, awesome. Thank you all so much for having me here, and a personal thanks to all of Courtney's family and friends. It's, it's a real honor for me as visiting director of jazz here at University of Utah uh, to be gracing this stage tonight. So thank you to all of you for, for letting me join you. I appreciate it. My story with Courtney uh, began in, in 2019 uh, when I first took over as director of jazz and we immediately started playing together uh, all over town. Uh, but Courtney uh, was not just a, a friend and a, a colleague, uh, but he was a peer at the university. Uh, he taught the piano studio uh, in the jazz area at the U, and uh, he was also a student, uh, a lifelong student, uh, but also one at the University of Utah and an integral uh, member of the program during his time. Um, because of that and because of the deep impact that he's had on all of us, um, Courtney's family and in conjunction with uh, the Gordon Hanks uh, GAM Foundation, uh, we started a memorial scholarship in his name. Um, and so thank you so much. <laughs> so tonight we'd, we'd like to thank Gordon and Connie Hanks for funding the Courtney Isaiah Smith Jazz Scholarship at the University of Utah School of Music. And if others wish to uh, honor Courtney and support this scholarship in future years, you can go to www.music.utah.edu, and we really appreciate the support. Thank you all so much. Thanks, John. Also joining us for this tune is a dear friend of mine that I've known since he was 14 years old and um, came in to, uh, to take a lesson from me. I'm not exactly sure why, because uh, he was already playing all this incredible <laughs> music, but uh, since then he's gone on to establish himself in New York. His latest album features the, the fantastic Brad Meldo on the piano. Um, he's back in Utah for, for a spell, and we're just very grateful to have him here. Please welcome the great Chase Baird on the tenor saxophone. All right, and joining us on this will also be Tony Ellison on keys, Denson Angulo on the bass, and Parker Swinson on the drums. This is Joe Henderson's Inner Urge. Thank you. 
John Petroselli, Chase Baird, Tony Ellison, Denson Angulo, Parker Swenson. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, we're going to continue on here. I'd like to bring back uh, Tyler Webb on the trumpet, Nate Campbell on the trombone. We want to invite my dear friend Jeremy Abernathy up on the organ. Yeah, Jeremy. We want to bring Mike Bordelon out on the bass. I want to bring uh, uh, both Parker Swenson and Deshaun Bryant back. We're going to have them play together on this one. And we're also going to have Jazzy Olivo help us out on this one, too. So, so this one... Just relax, Tom will be back, it's all good. Um, so Kenny Garrett uh, just released a new record and on the record he does a tune called Hargrove that he wrote for Roy Hargrove who's a fantastic jazz trumpeter that passed away recently. And I hope whoever it is is okay. And Roy Hargrove was a, he was a, a giant in the, in the jazz community. Um, probably, probably the, the, the premier jazz trumpeter of his time. Um, so his loss was, was massive and uh, similar to Courtney's loss to our community. And so um, Nate and Tyler and I heard this song, loved this song, and we thought, oh, we got to do this for Courtney. And, um, and so, and it actually, um, one of the reasons that I decided to, to do it tonight is that Kenny infused a little bit of John Coltrane's A Love Supreme into this song. You can actually hear later in the song, the female vocal part actually said, A Love Supreme. You'll hear that in the night, in the, you'll hear that in the, in the performance. Feel free to, uh, to sing along if you hear that. Um, oh, we've got Kenji on this as well. All right. And we have Carlos. All right. Yes. All right. Good. We're set. This is Kenny Garrett's Hargrove. Thank you.
Thank you so much. That's Tyler, that's Nate, that's Jazzy. You know everybody by now. Jeremy Abernathy on the organ, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, so um, I'm kind of getting scared that we're going to run out of time. So I'm going to skip in the program, y'all, all you musicians waiting in the wings. <laughs> I've got to skip. I've got to skip to... Um, I'm going to actually keep Jazzy out here. I want to bring Tom Young and Nelson Campbell back up. And I want to bring Kenji back up where Kenji can stay. Tony is going to stay. We're going to bring Alicia Wrigley back on bass. And um, we're going to have Parker on the drums, Carlos on the percussion, and Jazzy is going to tell you about this next song. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I got it. Hello. I'm right back. <laughs> oh, okay. We're back. We're back. Um, this next song, um, when David uh, approached me to to participate in this in this concert. Um, this is the first song that came to, to my mind when I wanted to honor Courtney and what I did in, in, in this side of music. And Bojillo means coming back home, means home. And it's a song that I, that I presented to Courtney in, in my, like, my need for him to know a little bit about my roots and, and a little bit about where I was coming from and, and my perspective of jazz uh, as, a, as a Latin girl, as a Caribbean girl. And he took that song and embraced it and the very next day he had this crazy arrangement and, and, and this love for this song that grew even more because my dog sings it and it's his favorite song. <laughs> so he was proud of that. He was proud of having a dog that will sing his arrangements. So, Bojillo for all of you. Es más oscuro cuando ya va a hacerse claro Cuando la luna se hace polvo y no tengo tu mano Cuando el salitre sube por el malecón Despierta el sol, duerme en las luces de neón Te extraño Quiero volver al bohío, al bohío, al bohío, a tu hoyo, a tu hoyo. Siento desamparado, no veo la magia en la que te me hacías a mi mano. ¿Qué le pasó a la gente? 
gente que ahora vive aquí Que no parece ni Aragua con mi acorí Te extraño Quiero volver al boyo, al boyo, al boyo, a tu boyo, a tu boyo. This song always reminds us to, to go back to the root of the center of your soul, of your home. Whenever you feel lost, 
Go back to your root. Go back to your heart. That's where everything is. And I'm so glad to be able to share my heart with someone so amazing that reminded me how valuable, how special I am. And not only me, every single person that Courtney got in contact with felt this way. So I'm grateful to be celebrating his life with you, his life with his music, his life with his friends. Thank you guys. Thank you. That's jazzy, everybody. All right. We just got a couple more for you. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with us tonight. We really appreciate it. Um, we're going to have a little uh, funk extravaganza on this next one, and, and I need all the, all the good peoples. Um, we're going to get both guitarists out here, Kenji and Corey. We're going to bring Jeremy Abernathy back on the organ. Uh, I'm going to bring my good friend Michael Bigelow up on the alto saxophone. Biggie! Bartender Biggie! This man makes a mean cocktail. This guy. Or, yeah. Don't even, get, don't even ask him about rum, either. Let me tell you, we're going to bring Candido Obeda back out on the tenor saxophone. Tom Young, I, do we have you and Tyler? I can't even remember. Yeah, why not? Let's see. We're going to have Deshaun and Bobby play together. So we get the drummers, we get the dual drummer action this time with those cats. We got Alex Rowe back on the bass. It's this, the big Utah jazz family right here. So this is a, this is a tune. Um, I, I didn't have time to, to, to finish the song I wanted to play tonight, but this is one that Jeremy and I have played together for years and years and years, and it's one of my favorite soul jazz slash funk, funk extravaganza tunes. Uh, so feel free to shake your booty to Ride On by Clarence Wheeler and the Enforcers. Thank you. 
Tom Young, Tyler Webb, Candida Wabeda, Michael Bigelow, Jeremy Abernathy, Kenji Ihara, Carlos Arroyo, Deshaun Bryant, Bobby James, Alex Rowe, Courtney, uh, Corey, Corey, Corey Christiansen on the guitar. So um, I had I had more songs planned tonight than we than we performed, and um, I just want to thank all the musicians for being so cool about you know coming in, coming out, just being here. A lot of these cats have been here since like five o'clock today and have been texting and emailing and phone calling and just it's I um, I just it was nuts, man. It was. I just want to thank all of these wonderful musicians for the work that they put into tonight just the time the time that they that they gave to tonight i really really appreciate them and um this whole thing is just in, in for courtney really so you know it's it's a labor of love for sure um we're gonna leave you with one last tune and this one is um so courtney and uh Kaya Kareen and Parker Swenson and I made a record a couple of years ago called Christmas Fire. And it was a collection of Christmas arrangements by, primarily by Courtney and myself. And Jeff Whiteley uh, gave us the opportunity to perform a concert of Christmas Fire concert. Um, last cri Christmas, yeah, last Christmas. Well, we're already, yeah, it's been almost a year. Um, and I asked Courtney to learn a tune for that that a student of mine, Stacy Romney Dahlberg, introduced to me. And the song is uh, a Ray Charles tune. It, actually, he sings in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Um, you hear Ray Charles singing it while uh, Chevy Chase is dressed up in the weird clothes in the attic watching the old movies. And um, I just, you know, Courtney did such a wonderful Ray Charles. And I asked him to learn a tune, and, and he did. And the reason that I want to play it tonight is there's a line in the song, Why Can't It Remain? He's talking about the, sp the song is called That Spirit of Christmas. And, you know, Ray is saying, why can't it remain? All through the year. And that just perfectly describes Courtney because Courtney Courtney had that spirit of Christmas truly um, all through the year he really did he was one of the most kind loving people that I've ever known yeah give it up for that Because Lord knows we could all use a little more love, right? Yeah, a little more kindness and understanding. Yeah. So um, we're going to have the Christmas Fire Band. That's Tony Ellison now on keys. We've got Kaya Kareen here tonight on the bass. We've got Parker Swenson back. I'm going to call on my dear friend Jeremy Abernathy since he brought his organ. Give it up for that beautiful Leslie and that beautiful ham and chop and and I need I need some extra special help on this and much like Corey and Kenji play tonight um, these two gentlemen don't get for some reason or another just don't get the opportunity to sing together all that often which is kind of strange because they're brothers but they're going to sing together tonight, and it's going to bless your lives. And so please, put your hands together for Tim Drisdom and Carrie Drisdom. And this is that spirit of Christmas. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, I probably should make an announcement about chairs. Is that right? Should I? Yeah? Okay, I should. So the announcement about chairs is just... Uh, we need help with the chairs, so when, you finish, when we finish the show, if you could um, help stack the chairs and just, like, groups of four or five chairs, just, um, just leave them on the dance floor. That would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for being here tonight. We love you and miss you, Courtney. And, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this last one. Thank you.
is the time of year for being with the ones we love sharing so much joy and cheer what a wonderful feeling watching the ones we love having so much fun i was sitting by the fireside Taking a walk through the snow Listening to a children's choir Singing songs about Jesus The blessed way that came to us Why What? can it remain? Each day 
the same Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. All the musicians who are left, come on out and just take a quick bow. All the musicians, come out, come out, come out. Come out. I wanted to do, I wanted to do a, a grand finale with all these guys, but we're so late. Um, they asked me to make sure I ended by 9.30. It is now a quarter to 10. So, um, <laughs> what's that? Yeah, we just want to get everybody on this stage real quick and take a bow all together. Horns, come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, wow. Michael Bigelow, Jeremy Abernathy, Nate Campbell, Candido Abeda, Carlos Arroyo, Nelson Campbell, John Petroselli, Kenji Ihara, Chase Baird, Bobby James, Mike Bordelon, Deshaun Bryant, Parker Swenson, my man, Tyler Webb, my man, Tom Young, Denson Angulo, Alicia Wrigley, Alex Rowe, Kaya Kareen, Corey Christiansen, Jazzy Olivo, Tony Ellison, Tim Drisdom, Carrie Drisdom, Chase Baird, did I not say Chase? I did, I thought I did. What are you doing, Denson? Trying to mess me up? 
My name is David Halliday, and we love you. And we love Courtney. And we thank you so much for being here tonight. And let's take a bow, y'all. One, two, three. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Jeff Wiley. to me. trumpet.
Oh, 